Hello and welcome down onto the tech desk. And in today's video, I've got a mod for you for the 8 Badoo Pro 2 controller. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be swapping these buttons, so the A, B, X and Y over, for them to be the Xbox configuration. It's a bit of a niche mod, if I'm honest with you, but my reason is um, I use this for my A500 and my A500 solely, uh, the Mini, the A500 Mini, and it just has in the Xbox control. It just makes sense, and I like to have A, B there, uh, so I select. That's just me. Your reason might be completely different, but I'm gonna show you how to do this today. So I've got some extra buttons, because if you didn't know, you can't just swap them over. Uh, for reasons that I'll tell you about later. So you're gonna have to go and buy these. So you can buy these off the 8 Do website. Um, they're under accessories, spare parts, and you just get the Pro 2 one. Um, I think these cost me about $8 delivered to the UK. It's taken about two weeks, but they finally got here um, and that's it. And that's all you're gonna get. Um, so for this mod, I'm also gonna be using my magnetic pad so I can just put my screws on here. Although I, you don't need this, it, it's quite self-explanatory. Um, a prying open tool, a small Allen key, a small screwdriver. Um, I can't remember the exact sizes of these, uh, so I'll just leave links down below where you can get hold of the ones that fit this. So this mod, it isn't particularly difficult. There is just a really fiddly cable inside, okay? So I've done this mod a couple of times before uh, of, of filming this, but there's a little bit of a fiddly mod, but it's not too hard, okay? There's not many, many screws, it's not difficult. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're just gonna take a few bits off. So take the back panel off and then take the, the battery out, okay? and then put them to one side because you'll obviously be needing them later. And also while you're here, the trick is here, you can just pop these off, okay? So if you look, if you look here, look, ready? They just come off like that, okay? There you go, so it's not one piece, it's two pieces, and you'll need to take that off so they fit in through the back panel. Okay, now we're gonna take uh, two screws off first, and we're gonna take that one and that one, and we're gonna be using this Allen key here. So take those two screws out. Now next, what you're gonna do is, you see this here, this is a sticker, and you can see that I've taken it off a few times. You're gonna to need to peel this back, okay? So you can peel it back and replace it, because I've done this probably three or four times now, and I've got it back all nicely every single time. So just get your prying tool and just pry it up as much as you can until you can grab it with your finger and then just pull it out. Okay, like so. Take that and put that to one side, because you stick that back on there if you, if you want to make it back. And then inside here, again, we've got two screws, one at the back there, and one at the back there, and again with the Allen key. So take those two out. Uh, these two you've just taken out, they are the same size as those, so it doesn't really matter about mixing them up, but I'm going to put them there anyway. Okay, once we've done that, now we can separate the two sides, the two gray sides here. This is where your prying tool is gonna come in because it is quite stiff. So get it down one side like so, and then over to the other side, do the same there. Okay, now take these apart, but don't rip them apart yet. Just go very gentle first, okay? Because what you're gonna do is once it's open, like so, you're gonna see there's a cable down the bottom there. You see that? Okay, we're gonna take that out. And we're gonna take out this side, okay? So we're gonna take the cable out of this side because we're gonna be working on this piece. So there's a little flap on there. If you just pop it up, if I could just show you this, it'd be easier. Okay. Inside there, there's some side bits that you just need to push down, okay? So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this very well on camera, but there's a bit there and there's a bit there you need to push downwards, okay? So you push that down, push that down, and then the, thick, the cable comes out, okay? So in here, you're gonna push this down here, push this down here. Can you see this moving down there, like that? And then when you put it back in, you're just gonna push this back up, okay? So we've done that. Now you can put this to one side, you won't be needing this again, so just put this to one side nice and safe. Now what we need to do is we need to take off this piece here. So there's one, two, three screws, and that'll be with your screwdriver, so take those three out. So once they're out, now we're gonna take this middle one out, so pop that middle one out. And then finally, we're gonna take those three out on the right, so take those three out. As we said before with these screws as well, these three are identical to these three. However, I'm just gonna keep them separate anyway, just because. Okay, now once you've done that, you can take this bit off. And here is the piece that we're gonna be working with. 
if you come over to the left hand side and just peel this rubber bit off here are your uh, the four buttons that we're going to change now if I just take out the B button you'll see why I can't just swap it with those other ones and I get the B one out of here okay you see these locating pins they're different so that's the locating pins for what was originally the A button and then there's going to be the new the new B button on here so take all four out there so they're your old ones there for the original style and these are going to be the the new style so a we know it can't go in any of those it can only fit in those and it will sink down so for example the B the B could go in there that one there with the two pins but it doesn't sink all the way down if you just pop it into its B place there you go it sinks all the way down so we know that's the right place Y yeah that's gone in there and then that went in there okay and then if we look we're in the configuration that we need okay oh while I'm here you see these fluffy bits here these the the triggers they will come off okay at some point if you're not careful it is literally just putting it on that's all you're gonna do nothing else just put it on there same same with this one this might fire off at some point if you drop it or something just put it back on there like so and with these rubber things they just go back on normal onto there like so and then you're going to put this back on there's only one way for it to go back on so you can just kind of put it on and lay it around until it fits like that and then we're in and then we're going to reverse the process so let's put these original ones back in and keep these safe just in case you ever want to reverse it you want to sell it and you want to go back to the original buttons keep that safe and then grab this and then fold it over and push it on it might even snap just a little bit okay there we go so you can put it in and it actually fits in okay nicely like that okay so it actually stays there but now we're going to put the screws back in so we'll just do this in one go you're going to put the three long ones in there you're going to put that small one back in there and then you're going to put those three longer ones back in there so get those uh seven back in there we go now we're going to get the other piece and we're going to put this on okay this is the hard bit this is where you're going to put this, which is quite frankly a ridiculously short cable, into there as best you can. Okay, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It's really a bit of a faff, but it can be done. So I've done this quite a few times. And the best way I found it is by doing it like this way. Okay, and just trying to get it in as best you can, like this. Let's try like so. There you go we're in we're in and then just close down the that bar that i said just push that down there we go we're in didn't take too long that wasn't too bad actually okay and then what you're going to do is just going to fold it make sure these bits here these two prongs are inside here and then flipping it straight over because you need to do the thumbsticks okay so always the thumbsticks that are going to get caught just make sure the thumbsticks are in the hole and there we go we're in we're in we're in we're in we're in and snap it shut all the way around and now we're going to stick the two screws back in so using this the running key one screw back in there one screw back in there we use them two put those two back in and then once they're in uh, it's probably a good time just to put your sticker back on In there like so and then we're going to put the two screws back in there last two into these two bits from here uh, battery back in battery cover and then finally we've got um, r2 and l2 and again they would just reverse so you just clip them on like so and then clip them on like so like there we go and there we go that's it that's done and that's all it takes let's just double check 
Yep, and it's all working. It's all charging up there. Okay, there we go, that's it. That's how to get your Pro 2 controller for 8-bit do into the Xbox configuration of A and B and X and Y. For me, I feel like it's something niche for your A500 Mini. Okay, I hope that's of help. Um, let me know how your thoughts or how you're getting on with this or if you need it or if there's a reason of why you need to change your buttons like that. If you've got kind of like some sort of OCD like me that needs them like that, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, do like, do subscribe. Till the next video. Bye.